This piece of mail at a government building in Palm Springs causes a ripple effect through the neighborhood and surrounding businesses. KMIR 6's Matt Vandeveer was there when it all went down and joins us live in studio with more. Matt. In this complex, there are a range of businesses. There's a doctor's office, an insurance company. Also, there's an IRS office as well as a social security office. So it seemed the real question on people's minds today was, where did the call come from? With the IRS being in the news so much, perhaps it was a common assumption. What is it? Someone's mad at the IRS or someone was upset with the uh, Social Security office? Everybody was saying it was the IRS and they sent it was probably the mail. About 1 p.m. Thursday afternoon, the Palm Springs Police Department and the Palm Springs Fire Department responded to the Desert Springs Professional Office Park to a complaint of a suspicious envelope. The park has businesses from a doctor's office to an insurance company, also on the lot, an IRS office though police won't confirm which government building made the call. Things just kind of picked up and more people showed up. When police arrived, they put that suspicious envelope in a red box to contain it. One worker was on her way into work and says she stepped right over it. Right behind my car, by the way. As I was getting to my car, it was just right there, right next to the police car. After five hours of investigating, bringing a hazmat team in, and having employees move their cars out of the lot, Palm Springs PD says the envelope was not a threat. It had enough markings on it to deem it suspicious. There was no specific threat ever um, in terms of any person or entity specifically threatening a building or a person. Uh, just the, the letter itself had some physical characteristics that needed to be further investigated. Onlookers are thankful nothing extreme happened. It got real nerve-wracking when we saw hazmat come in and there was uh, the EMTs and the fire department and then it looked like it was going to be a big deal. It makes you wonder, well, should I be standing so close to the windows trying to watch everything or should we go to the other side of the building? But saying in situations like this, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's scary to think that something could be that close and you can't be too careful. I also asked police to define what those markings were on the envelope or what physical characteristics that needed further investigating. They said they couldn't tell me. Back to you.